I guess it's probably 50 years ago or close to it that the war on cancer began. And what we've seen over the past 10 to 15 years is a real explosion in what we know about the underlying biology of cancer. And that has translated into a variety of new treatments for all sorts of different cancers. For breast cancer, which I specialize in, and really virtually every cancer that, that we take care of. Um, and the rate of change has accelerated. So that each year, we're seeing more and more new drugs, which of course presents new challenges. I think that, 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 that people used to have this idea of cancer care um, as something that was worse than cancer itself. The treatments have really evolved. Chemotherapy is still given sometimes, but we have far better medicines to combat the side effects from it. And we no longer rely just on chemotherapy. We have chemotherapy, we have hormonal therapy, we have immunotherapy, we have targeted therapy. Sometimes you need a little chemotherapy to go along with these things to make it work a little bit better. But it's very, very different. And it's much more specific than it ever was. And our approaches now are much more fine-tuned. We get to understand the cancer and we use treatments. And this isn't all the time and it's still not perfect, but we use treatments that are much more directed towards that individual, that individual cancer and keeping in mind the individual patient because not only do cancers differ, but patients differ.